Good day from Micrographics. Today I'm going to sh show you how Revit interacts with the ABE detailing, waterproofing detailing that we've created in Revit. Just to show you a little bit about Revit, I'm going to show you how you insert a door and a window into the building. You'll see how the window, also how the door um, opening is automatically cut out there, um, as for as well as the window over there. And I can have the window facing on the outside, I can have the window facing on the inside. Now this is all in 2D, let's see what happens in the 3D view. There we go, so you see I've put um, a door and two windows, I should probably put a staircase going down there, and a door and two windows over there as well. Now at the top of here you can see a planter box, um, and I'm going to put some detailing on that planter box. So first things first, we put a section through here, and when I go to the section, you'll see the section over there. I'm just going to uh, modify the section a little bit over here so we can see a little bit uh, or more of it. Um, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert the ABE waterproof and detailing into this uh, model. Okay, yeah, you can see I'm going to go to where I've saved it. And what it does is it gives me a a list of all the detailing that we've actually got in this uh, other Revit file. Um, balcony parapet detail, balcony parapet detail, and a box cutter, brick seal. So I'm going to go just go untick this and I'm going to go down to my typical planter box. These two, and you can see as I tick on each one, it previews in the right hand side. And also, I want to bring in my typical shard detail torch on. Okay, so I could bring in all of them, I can just choose the ones that I want. Click on OK and it brings it in over here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in, okay, there we go, it shows us the, the detail. So I'm going to put a call out on this and I'm going to link that call out with one of the views the, from the ABE detailing, so the typical planter box. Okay, let's do that. Select where I want my callout, and then let's go to the callout. And there we go. So going to that callout view um, highlights this over here. So now let's go back to the first floor at the bottom of here. You can see the the shower, and I can do the same thing over there. I can go to my callout and reference that callout to a new view, which will be my typical shower detail torch on. Sorry. Before I do that, I should put my section in, go to my section, just going to modify that a bit, and then from the section then I can go do my call out. reference my section to my shower, go to my view and there's my detail over there. You can see all the detail in that. From there what the architects would do is they would go to a sheet This is their sheet over here, and they go place the views that they've just created. So I'm going to place my section view, so two section views that I had, and then I'm also going to go place my drafting views, which is the uh, typical planter box that we've brought in, and the shower detail torch one. Okay, so that's just a very quick, brief overview of what Revit can do with the ABE waterproofing details. Thank you very much for listening.